Oh, yeah. He, he was J.J. Walker. So J.J., that art he did, it was all Ernie Barnes' art. All right, as Team Gaither takes over at the 12-yard line, Bryce, a quarterback, running at you. You saw Jermaine Martin get about six yards on that carry. There goes Witt. You just talked about him running, Charles. Bucky, we always think about quarterbacks being super shifty, running zone read. That's not always the case, is it? No, it's not always the case. In, in reality, Charles, what you... Yeah, we're seeing a lot more pushed up from colleges to the NFL, something we probably didn't see until about four or five years ago in how it pushes. Went with a big, quick pass to Jermaine Martin. Counts off of him when he's having a good game. All right, that was a handoff. Like you and me, even though we're not players, Steve, up here having an opportunity to do this game. 100%. And now we're seeing Martin. They're going real run heavy, showcasing from running backs. Good tackle. Down backs have an impact in the NFL to watch Quimba Jones make this tackle. It's funny that you say that because I was listening to you guys talk about Jermaine Martin. And when I think about Martin, it's not only about thinking about Martin. He had a season where he had 23 touchdowns. The production will matter. Holding, number 78, offense, 10-yard penalty, second down. Let's take a look at Lauren Young. Look how he gets off the football, and in Wilcox, all he could do was try to hold. That penalty. Production has started to kick in. Watch the catch going across. Big three, Trey Gross, who we've seen all week be a big time. He's there, Charles. There he is. Play. If not, we'll go to the next quarter. Nice catch, but the foot comes down out of bounds. Holding. Good call by the Number official. Number 78, offense. I've become, as a man and as a player, to my experience at Arkansas Pine Bluff, you know, being an HBCU player. Ball there. Number 18, defense, unabated to the quarterback. Five-yard penalty. Tried to be elite there, and then he was probably elite plus. Just a quick, a quick step there, and we look at Bryce Witt from Chuan, and now he lowers his shoulder. It takes <laughs> this is this is what that's that's the game as we see it today isn't it and he goes to the quick pass right there to Todd nice catch. look at this play here Charles yeah and I think that for Todd look to the left of your screen look at the hands that's something I think that the NFL scouts wanted to see Neil Boudreaux who is a starting quarterback in Oregon also a punter seven yard line as he swings it out to Martin Give it to him, short left, takes the big hit. He snapped, false start, number 66, offense, five-yard penalty. Again, just move the ball with this offense. You have to get points on the board. Martin trying to stretch it, does not cut it up. Here as well, you mentioned the force. Watch the read by number 15, Norman. He gets underneath the attempted block, actually underneath two attempted blocks. One by number seven yard loss now. Ball in the 45-yard line, second and about 25. His whip had a little bit of time. Now he's got to scramble. We know he can do that. Oh, big throw. Man. Get out of trouble. And then how about Corey Banks in his presentation on the sideline? Yeah, big thing on Witt, being able to get out of trouble. Charles, you talked about it at the top of the show. His ability. Deepest. The team Gaither has been in the team Robinson territory. There's that man again, Marquise. Hey, Bucky, here's McLean, number five. We mentioned him moving inside and taking some of these bigger routes. I think this route here, and to me, Witt, being able to come off the first target and go to him on the second look. Yeah, great two-by-two two formation. Witt took a snap, stepping up. Oh, under a lot of pressure. So watch inside, all right? And then also watch all this, watch all this coming at you, all right? All these four collapse in the pocket inside. And then from the outside, Badejo number one, and as you missed him at 343, so they measured him after breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another nice throw by Wood. You know, Marquis McLean is him out, means getting downfield and block those guys, putting body on body and moving them. It's third and five. Oh, great patience by Wood as he saw his running. His ability to get out of the backfield. There he is right there. You see him run that little option route, running away from the linebacker. No chance at all right there. Illegal block in the back. Number 15, return team. 10 yard penalty from the end of the run. First down, timeout on the field. And you go back to, remember last year, Presley Harvin out of Georgia Tech? 
Black punter going into the NFL. Greg mentoring him as well. All right, Bryce Witt back in at quarterback for Team Gaither. Throws a nice strike there to... They're going to end up voting on, you know, player of the game and all that. Marquise McLean has got to get a good, strong look for that as offensive player of the game, don't you guys think? Oh, I would think more. You know, they, they won't <laughs> mind him bulking up a little bit to do what he's doing. No, Charles, when you think about... He swings it out to Martin. Nice run after catch, and again, to prove he's not just a one-dimensional running back. Martin again on the handoff. <laughs> Gets stood up after about three yards. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm working here with two guys who played college football. So Steve Bucky, Jermaine Martin's not happy that his running mates have gotten hurt and are out of the uh, An MVP on being somebody's training camp yeah. this summer. Witt takes off. Big decision. Fantastic drive. And by the way, Bucky, he makes you make a business decision running. He's about 235 pounds. He absolutely does. Um, nice look. tackle. Reminds me a little bit of Mareek Robinson coming out of Louisiana Tech. Witt with a deep shot. Taylor, number 21, involved in the play. Let's see how it works, working from the inside. And that's a real did it. Catch the football. All right, Witt drops back to pass. Jermaine Martin again. Ooh. Takes a big shot. It's hard to find these big guys. We see the replay. I just love the reaction. Coming up, making a solid tackle. Love it. And that looks like that was Jermaine Martin who came out. That's the third running back to come out so going in, we're going West, in looks like wesley bowers and the it linebacker. is linebacker there's wit wow magical ball handling oh. skills escapes it oh and a fa what a fantastic catch and watch bowers the linebacker come in for pass protection helps him out a little bit gives him just a little bit extra time gets a pass rusher good job by wit getting the football it was bouncing in his last four or five possessions to pretty much put this game away against team robinson Witt drops back, rolls right. He's got someone deep, takes a shot, uh, but he is good to go, so they're back to their normal offensive personnel. Witt dropping back, taking a shot. Oh, Trey Gross, that false start, number 78 today. <laughs> <laughs> you had your shot, guys. All right, Witt takes a low snap, checks it down, like you guys said, hits his tight end. To watch Marine nine going across field. A good job, I thought, by Witt, as, as Steve described, looking downfield and taking so they don't get bumped by the linebackers they're dropping. Quick slant on fourth down, threw it, oh, an opportunity. Watch Rodney Coleman does a nice job Great staying job. in there and then staying on the hip, and when the ball's behind him, that allowed Rodney Coleman to make a